where we are, guys. We're here to pick up a couple things. Let's see what we bought. We'll go inside and pay, and I'll see you right back out here. They're actually letting me go back here and get it. Ooh, look at that 350Z. Mm. I freaking love this place. There's so much potential here. The possibilities are endless. So we bought two things this week. It's the first time I've bought it from Copart in a while. So I'm kind of excited and I'm kind of nervous too because I'm borrowing my dad's truck and this camper, I don't know if this thing's gonna tow it. We're gonna try it. I wanna at least get it out of here. And if I gotta stop at a gas station and drop it and go home and get something else, I can. I don't have to wait till Monday. I just wanna get this thing home, get it cleaned up. Oh, there it is. Right there. She's a beaut. Okay. So this is what we got. It was kind of a fluke buy. We knew we wanted it, but someone was bidding against us the whole time. But at the end of the day, we bought this bad boy for $425. Oh, she stinks. It's a flood. But look how cute it is. I just hope and pray we can get it home without breaking Cubs dad's truck. Say your prayers. All right, guys. We got her hitched on. How do you feel about it? Is she holding pretty strong? Yeah, a little sketchy. We just gotta go really slow all the way home. We gotta get this bolted on so the whole siding doesn't fly off. I'm gonna go inside and see if I can get a pair of keys to lock this door. All right, you guys. Vehicle number two, we got a 2007 Saturn Aura. It was hit in the passenger side back door and literally it only hit the door. Guys, this is why we love Copart. Look at it. It's a nice car. I actually owned one of these before. There's the damage. Actually, really nice cars. Pretty clean on the inside. She's dead. Dead? Yeah. All right. Let's go get our paperwork. Okay. All right. We're back home. I lied. I bought three things this week. I bought the Aura and the Camper from Copart today. I bought this Jeep yesterday. It's got that little bit of damage on the grill which is no big deal it needs brake pads she's dirty it's got good tires on it um, let's see I picked it up for a thousand bucks you can't even beat it four-wheel drive works great drives beautifully it's got the 4.0 in it so I don't know if you know this but stay the heck away from the V8 Jeep engines don't even go near them Look at that always find money it's kind of windy today. I'm hoping this works out. It's kind of a mess. All this stuff I went through last night and I dug it out from underneath the seats. <laughs> so, anybody want a cracker? It's not too rusty. This is the only rust on the whole thing. Kind of sucks. I think I might try to clean that up. Just at least make it not look like nasty rust, you know? But it's got rubber mats. The, the stock mats are freaking immaculate. It had seat covers on it, which it doesn't look like they did much. Had some Jack Daniels under the seat. Got some carpet back here. Oh, see? That's the piece of carpet I need for my new camper. <laughs> my, how things work out. But yeah, thousand bucks. He was asking 1200. Um, that's the hitch I need to pull that camper. I ended up winning the camper for 425 bucks. I won a Saturn Aura for 475 bucks. So, I'm not complaining at all. Listen to that thing burp. Jesus. 
It's always so windy. As soon as I try to film, it gets real windy. Every time. It's got like a leveling kit on it or something. But just imagine how mean that look with the tires sticking out the side. It's got the uh, general grabber all trains on it. So, I mean, shoot. That's gonna sell for some money. I'll make some money off that. Here's the Saturn. This thing's pretty sweet. I kind of like it. Never had one. Got some big old wheels on it. Brand spanking new tires. Look at that. Nice. God, I love that. All the same tire. It's got them blinkers. That's weird. Is it like that on the other side? Nope. Okay, so when I go get a door, I'll just buy a, another marker. But check this out. I thought it was only in the door. Seems a little bit of it got hit here. Oh shoot, honestly, the ground effect will cover that, right? It goes up to there. Let me see. Let's go check the other side. Look at that thing. Super clean. What goes there? I know it can't just be dented in a perfect line, can it? Let's see. I wonder what the heck hit them if it bent that in. Yeah. Like a perfect line, look at that. It almost looks like something goes there. Like a cap. These scratches, these are gonna rub out. I'm not worried about those. But, I mean, I got it for 475. It was uh, six something out the door. Rim's a little scuffed up. But, you can't tell me this car ain't worth 650, 675 bucks. Look at the inside of it. Let's start it up. We'll hear it run, Let's pop the trunk. I haven't had a chance to go through this. We got the trailer, or we got the camper, and we got this at the same time. So, Britt drove this back, and then I pulled that camper, which was sketchy. That truck is not big enough to really pull that. Oh, yeah. Look at her. But, uh, what's in here? Really? Really? <laughs> See? Chasing girls and not driving. That's how accidents happen. Nothing in there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's worth the money I paid. Check out these paddles. It's got one on both sides. You think that's for shifting? Because don't. it doesn't do anything to the radio. Hold on, let me go into manual. Check tire pressure, of course. What's wrong? I'm trying to see what these paddles are. It's for when you put it in manual. Yeah, that's pretty freaking awesome. They're like Lamborghini paddles. Yeah, Check you them can out. Drive it manually. I like it. I like it a lot. She sounds good. So, we got this today. Let's pop the trunk, what's in here? It's kind of cool car, right? You don't see very many of these, the XRs. Got a pillow. So we got a pillow and a condom in this one. <laughs> you never know if it could be, oh shoot. That was smart. Got a golf ball, sweet. Yeah. The Wilson TC2. Kent Power. He was a contractor. There was a contractor hat in here too. So, God, I'm sorry about the wind, guys. But, so, yeah, that. I'll get a door, 50 bucks from a junkyard. And then there's this. This was sketchy. My dad's Toyota. I had already welded his frame. The fact that I used that to pull that trailer, I was gonna take the Jeep, but the Jeep's not legal. So I took the risk. I figured it would make it if this thing wasn't too heavy, but this is pretty heavy. It's bigger than I thought it was in the pictures. She needs some love. But, um, you never know how bad Michigan roads are 
until every bump makes you think that the back bumper is going to fall off and you're going to lose your trailer. Seriously guys, my hands were going numb. I was white knuckling so bad. Um, even Britt was. Like when I was driving, see part of the problem with this, you saw me screwing on the siding, was this corner moved. It's supposed to be tucked up in there, so this was flapping. Well, when I'm driving, this side did the same freaking thing. And I only had two more screws left, which I put them in. And you can see, I, it didn't go into anything good. So it started again. I mean, I was freaking, yeah. This is all 14 feet long. I thought it was maybe a 10 foot, 12 foot. It's almost 16 feet long. It's huge. And it's got everything, man. I love it. There's my, that's my furnace, right? So I got that. Um, got keys with it. There's where my generator goes. I took that off. Here, hold on. Oh, there, got a table. Got a bathroom. I mean, it's not too horrible, guys, and it doesn't stink in here too bad. It smells like it's been sitting. You know, say you park it for the winter and it's all sealed up. And you just got to get it home and air it out. So we got all the windows open. We're airing it out. Um, stuff in there. But the plumbing all looks good. That's to the freezer. It's got a door. Um, these fold in. The stove, everything works, guys. I got a, it's not even all nasty and greasy. I got two propane tank, pain tanks on the front. Come with it, I don't know if they've got anything in them. Um, lots of storage. I got some some weird wiring going on here. I don't know what that is. But look at the plumbing. The plumbing all looks so nice. It's not all nasty. That's like a cardboard box over something. I don't know what. Maybe a water heater? Do these have water heaters? I've never had a camper before, so I don't know anything about them. There's another tray. Huh. Yeah, I don't know anything. But it's got outlets, so you have to be able to plug it. Maybe, what does that work? Water pump on so you can pump your water. Oh, man. It's got an air conditioner in it, guys. Right here. And I don't know how to use the awning. There goes that door again. The awning, I gotta figure out how to get down. Um, got a microwave, it's not all nasty. Refrigerator looks good. It doesn't stink, so that's nice. Freezer. You would think that the refrigerator would stink. So these are actually decent people. Thermostat. Decent people that own this. Um, it was in there for water damage. I don't know from what or where. I mean, maybe. I see. Look at this rough. I'm guessing right there. So I'm gonna get up on that rough. I'll get some caulk. Um, I do where this corner was peeling apart. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some wood here in the corner, build this out, get it tied together better, and then trim it out. Look at that, like that folds up. But yeah, that corner needs help. And I'm assuming this one needs help too because that's the one I already screwed together. But I kinda gotta add wood to it nice spare um, this pulls out and it turns into a bed all that unfolds check out this freaking swivel chair look at this a locking CD case I like this chair so yeah we can just hang out in here Britt wants to go camping with it before we sell it you know me, I always just want to make a bunch of money. Oh, she's over there cleaning the Jeep already. I love that woman. So what we're gonna do is, because of Copart, we have to wait. 
at least two weeks to get the titles for these. This came with a title and a registration. Um, the Aura, you know, it's got a green title. It's a clean title car. I don't, I'd have to have a broker to buy salvage cars from Copart. Um, so, yeah, I don't buy anything like that unless it were, you know, something real sweet, you know, like a Shelby Mustang or, you know, if I start getting more views on YouTube, definitely will want to do some of that stuff. But right now, everything I buy is so that I can make money to support my family, you know. Oh, we found more alcohol? So right now I buy this stuff, I film it, but ultimately I'm buying it to fix it, clean it, sell it, make money for the family. We went through and reorganized the whole garage too. What do you guys think about that? Got everything cleaned up. So, and I watch all these channels like Goon Squad, DIY Gang, um, Sam Crack. All these guys, they have enough views and they're getting money, so they're buying these cars and they're working on them and they actually get to keep them. I don't know what it is to be able to keep anything yet. I always have to sell it and make money, but someday I'm gonna find something that I'm actually gonna keep and build it and it'll be mine. We thought that was my truck I built over the summer. Actually, DIY Gang shouted me out um, two episodes ago. Uh, I sent him in some pictures of a truck that I had bought it was hit in the back. I actually cut the whole back of the truck's frame off, went to the junkyard, bought a rear section of a truck, welded it on there. I bought a box. I bought a brand new lift and some wheels and tires. I lifted it up and made it freaking sweet. But DIY gang, I sent them like eight pictures because I sent them all the before pictures. There was just, I couldn't explain it in two pictures of before and after. I wanted them to see that I cut the frame in half and that I, I did all that stuff. So he goes and he posts, well, it's not his fault, it's my fault. He gives me a shout out as Kevin R on his channel, um, and it's a plow truck. It, he shows the first picture where it's hit in the back, and it's got a camper on, or a topper on it, and then he's, the second picture, which he said, here's the finished result, it was the front of the truck with a plow on it, when actually both of those were before pictures. And I confused them because I got excited and sent a bunch of, you know, pictures. But, uh, yeah, so DIY Gang actually shouted me out, which is pretty awesome. I've never had anything like that happen before. All right, back to the plan. Plan is get this Jeep cleaned up, get it sold, because we went, we made our money, paid all our bills, went and bought three more things so that we can start rolling our cash. Um, spent a 1000 on the Jeep. What was the car afterwards? It was seven. After fees and stuff? Yeah. 810. Yeah, 810 for that. And then what was the camper? 780. 780. So 810 for that, 780 for that, 1000 for that. You know, that's all the money that I got. We After just, we, we take gambles, money. don't we, Mama? We do. We gamble. We're we... broke now. <laughs> we're broke now. We got we to gotta hustle, make some money. <laughs> so we're going to clean this up, get into it. Um, and try to get it sold. I won't have any issues trying to sell it for more than a thousand, so I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna get the hose over here and get going. It's hard because she's always cleaning the inside and I can't really spray it, but I do gotta get brake pads for it because they're grinding. That's a huge thing. People get their, their brakes start grinding and they think everything's wrong with it. So I think that's why I got it cheap. But, I mean, it, it's already lifted. It's gotta be lifted at least two inches, don't you think? It's got 31s on it. It's big. There's no rust on this bed. I want to park it in front of that camper and take a picture. Do a package deal for $4,500. We'd make $2,500 in one shot. But, oh, check this out. I ended up having to drive down a dirt road when I went and bought that Jeep. So, there's my wheels and my brakes. What you think? Van looks sweet, huh? I obviously got to wash it, but yeah, the black wheels look good on there. So that's everything we bought. That's the details. Now let's get into cleaning it and 
we'll start this process all over. There's Maddox's $369 bike. I don't get it. I don't know why they charge kids so much for these. I don't see that it takes that much to really make it. It's something special. Supposedly these frames don't break. It's got bigger axles. Um, Odyssey edition. It's got Odyssey stuff on it, I guess. But he wanted a Sunday. Cam actually just bought this same exact bike. He put money in my account and I ordered the other day. It'll be here Monday. He got the orange one. So this one's called the Grape Soda Primer and uh, Cam's calling his the orange soda or the cream soda primer. So, boys are happy. Everyone's happy. Is this gonna be your house? Yeah. Yeah? My house. So in an emergency, if you ever can't get out the door, you flip these up like this and the whole window and you jump. Oh, can I actually jump out? No, it's what? not an emergency. So yeah, it's got the emergency feature. Can I please ask you to jump out? No. Cool. Only in an emergency. Kevin, how do, we, how do we open this thing? It opens on this side. Oh, sick. Right? Let's roll. Let's roll. So, here we go. We're going to clean this up. Um, this will be the before. I'm going to paint the wheels black. I'm going to tint the rear tail lights black or darker. I've got some stuff over here to use for that. It's peel coat, but it's lens tint. You can tint the tail lights. I don't recommend doing the headlights. It does look cool in the daytime, but you can't see nothing at nighttime. So if you look, you can see through it. It just tints your tail lights. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna do that. Put some black wheels on it. Tint the tail lights. Clean it up. Cause since I spent all my money, now I got just enough to buy brake pads for the front. The spacers are gonna be a hundred bucks, but oh well. You gotta. If you don't have a risk, you won't have a reward. Remember that. The greater the risk, the greater the reward. Always. So, we're always risking everything. And you know what? Sometimes it's stressful, but all the time it's great. Britt and I get to hang out all day, every day doing this. And this, we're the happiest versions of ourselves, man. I love this life. I love being able to do this every day. Um, yeah, it gets stressful sometimes when money's tight. But you know what? We always make it. Never do we not make it. Um, it's going really well. I love it. Like, I was kind of stressed out after we sold the truck. We sold both trucks and the Cobalt. Oh, and by the way, do not try to buy and sell Cobalts. Nobody wants to buy them. I bought that one for 900 bucks, put it up for uh, 18 got no messages, dropped it to 15, got maybe two messages, finally dropped it to uh, 1300 bucks, got some messages and ended up selling it for 12. So I made $300 off of it. But you know what, 300 bucks is 300 bucks. We made money, what did I really do? You know, we cleaned the inside of it out, that's it. Um, the gold truck ended up selling that. Jeez, I'd have to ask for it. I think I sold it for 1500 bucks. Yeah, it was 15. I made 500 off that because I bought that for a thousand. So we made 500 bucks off that, 300 off the cobalt, and I sold the red truck. I made a thousand. So 1,800 bucks off all three. So if you count it all as one deal in three parts, we made 1,800 bucks. So I mean, it is what it is. So we turned 3,900 into 45,000. So. 5,000 bucks, but we ended up having to pay all of our bills, so which was almost three grand. Left us with a look, enough to buy these and have about $150 left, which, whatever. All our bills are paid till next month. We got 150 bucks. I'm happy. We'll sell this Jeep hopefully this weekend. I am gonna have to sit on those two for two weeks, the camper and the car, until I get titles at least. But at least I'll be able to flip this one, make some money, buy something else for around $1,000, $1,200, flip it, make some money. That'll keep money coming in enough. If I can do 
you know even if I make 800 bucks off this that's a week's worth of money you know what I mean 800 bucks is 800 bucks take the thousand buy something else and try to make another five to eight hundred bucks as long as we're making that once a week we're doing all right and we've been making a lot more than that so we've gotten ahead um, we've been able to buy some pretty cool things do things with the family all while not working which is well I guess I am working I'm working on this and it's just I choose to to do this now and it's keeps me a lot happier I don't consider it work we're gonna get this cleaned up I'll be back in a sec we're rocking away at it got that one washed that one washed got the boys going on the camper how's it going guys getting it clean yeah. I'm Sweet. soaking wet here I'm a bitch everywhere You're supposed to spray the trailer I know Wow, it's looking really good. Super clean. Look how clean these things got. This thing though, these tires don't come clean. I scrubbed them, I'm gonna have to get a scrub brush and a bucket. Britt's working her magic. Hi. Pretty nasty. They all seem to be nasty. We're getting there though. I'll clean these tires. I'm gonna paint the wheels black. I did end up just ordering the wheel spacers, guys, off Amazon. They're gonna be here tomorrow. So, figure screw it. Might as well go all out. Make this thing look mean. It'll sell it faster and for more money. So, you can buy a normal Jeep anywhere. Them wheel spacers are gonna change everything about it. So. We had to pull the trigger. Actually, Britt talked me into it. I didn't want to because we didn't have much money, but hey, whatever. Just look at that van from here. Hold on. Look at them brakes. Oh, see that dent right there? That's kids riding the bikes. Just look at that thing. That's what I see from here. You know, they're gonna make a, or they are making a Hellcat Pacifica. Maybe I'll have a chance to do my own Hellcat build on a Pacifica. At least Hellcat replica. <laughs> There's no affording a Hellcat at this point. But we're good. So we're cleaning away, getting this done. All right, guys, hard at it. Getting this cleaned up. Have any of you guys ever seen this tool? I got it off Allied Express for I think three bucks. Look at it. It just loosens up. through with your shop back and you just suck it right up. Even that tough it just blows it all over the place. But it blows it out of the carpet, the stuff that the vacuum won't suck out. You just go over top of it. With the shop back, sucks the carpets dry, and they look 10 times cleaner. That tool is amazing. It's also good for um, like this here, where there was just a bunch of dust all up inside all them holes. Like that. Anything that helps when you're cleaning cars, there's a lot of nooks and crannies. I was going to paint my wheels black, but I figure since I'm getting spacers tomorrow, I might as well wait. I'm going to have the wheels off anyway. I cleaned up the wheels and uh, I sprayed some black over them just to see how it was going to stick. 
So sometimes, you know, someone works on it, does a wheel bearing or something, has grease on their hands, touches the wheel and you spray paint it, if you don't get all that off, it'll bubble up pretty bad. So I did a little test coat just to see what it was gonna do. It's going on good, so I won't have to completely wax and grease, remove the whole thing. The seats are completely filthy. I'm gonna go through all these cracks with that thing and blow them all out and then shop back it. Um, yeah, we're getting there. This is what we'll be doing all weekend. We working on these, trying to get this one. I wanna sell this one, hopefully by Monday. That seems to be enough time. I was actually wondering, should I put this cherry bomb on it? Put that cherry bomb on with a big tip, say like, Something like that or that. Check out my upper garage. Look what I got up there. I got all kinds of different exhaust pipes. I got the big tips. I got some tail pipes. I got enough to weld something in there. So I was thinking, should I do it? It doesn't sound bad right now. I mean, I don't really have a reason to. So I don't know. Maybe once I get these wheels painted, get the spacers on, hopefully it makes it look tough because if you look at it, they're already, you know, right about to the outside. So they're going to be sticking out to about here. It's going to look good. It's just going to make it look wider, meaner. Um, yeah, you're going to have to check back, see how it looks when it's done. I did tint the bottom of the headlights, that strip there. I tinted the tail lights right there. Just a little bit, not too much, to where it's just black and you can't see nothing. Britt said she was gonna take care of this in interior for me. Thank God, cause I suck at it. Um, haven't really done anything to this. Scanned it, um, it's got an EVAP code, so I gotta figure out something. Um, it, it runs perfect, so I, I know EVAP codes don't really mean much. Maybe a vacuum or something, I don't know. But, runs good, so I don't know what I'll do with that. Gonna paint these wheels tomorrow. We're gonna get the wheel spacers on there. We're gonna do some buttoning up on that. Maybe I can try to find a grill cheap. It's gonna have to be cheap at this point because we just spent all our money today. <laughs> Freaking Cole Park gets me every time. Every time we go on there, I tell myself I'm not gonna buy two things because the fees when you buy two things is just kills you. We get a little but carried away. Every time. But it's like so cheap. You're like, so what? Fun. 425 for that, I'm buying it. And then you go, what, 475 for that? The next thing you know, you're, you're getting a check for 1500 something bucks, like what? So yeah, <laughs> that's how that happens. But I love Copart. I haven't been there in a long time and I just missed it, man. The stuff you get from there is amazing. Like that car, that car is sweet for what we got it for. This is sweet for what we got it for. Check out the battery. I found that it was dry, so I put some water in it, and it wasn't it wasn't even taking charge from my battery charger. As soon as I put water in it, closed it up, it started charging. Camper's got lights. It looks so nice in here. I kind of like this camper. I might, yeah, Britt's already talking about it, but I might want to keep the dang thing. We gotta do some cleaning, maybe change up that flooring a little bit. I mean, it's just it's just dirty. Like, it's just gotta be cleaned up. It's got like beach sand in it. Um, and it's not like they didn't take care of it. I think something just happened and it, you know, it's an insurance claim because everything in it seems to be really well maintained. Everything works. I do not know how to use this awning. If any of you know how to do that, please let me know. I flipped this lever. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Um, how would you even roll it back up once you unroll it? I don't know. I can't figure out how to get it to work. Got my little light here. My porch light. I love this thing. It's so freaking cool. So the car, that's going to be coming together here. I don't know what I'm going to do to that yet. Probably just clean it, really make it really clean and sell it. See what I can't get out of it. I'm kind of excited about this. Let's do a before. See if we can't get these wheels sticking out a little more with them spacers. I like them headlights with that tint. It's actually a Plasti Dip tint. Like you can, you put it on and you can actually peel that off if you get sick of it. I've never seen that for lights. 
But I like it. I think it's pretty cool. It came in a box I bought from a guy. He had like this big box full of just all kinds of miscellaneous stuff. Posted, I told him I'd give him 50 bucks for all of it. And so far I've used most of what I bought from him, so couldn't go wrong. I did not expect to have three cars. Um, we paid our bills, we had so much money left, I figured we'd buy you know, the Jeep and then hurry up and flip it and try to just roll into more cash. And then we went on Copart and boom, here we are. Bunch of stuff and no money, but I'm happy. I feel like we're gonna make money. I think we got a good deal on everything. It's gonna be a good journey. We're gonna make this Jeep look sweet. Um, yeah. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome, it's a good week. So please, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it all. My new subscribers, thank you. And thank you for your comments. Thank you, number 37. You're the man. I appreciate you watching my videos. Um, please like the videos, share them with your friends. Um, tell your friends to subscribe, you know? If you know anybody that watches DIY Gang or Sam Crack or Goon Squad, like these channels, that's kind of, you know, kind of what my channel focuses on. Their DIY gang was actually my inspiration. I'd never seen a channel like that before in my life, and then I started watching it, and uh, I was like, man, I do that stuff every single day. I'm out in the garage doing something to a car. You know, obviously not on Hellcats or anything like that, but he wasn't either, you know? He's been YouTubing for five years. Um, that Hellcat, you know, he started getting views, and you know, that, that's how it happens, so. I feel like my videos are starting to get out a little bit more. Um, YouTube's seeing that I'm going to be posting every week at least once or twice. Um, I hope you guys like what you see. If you want to see something, please let me know in the comments and I will, I will work for you guys. And I want, to, I want to start working on bigger projects. I want to actually build a truck, like a lifted truck. Get something that's maybe wrecked, start from the ground up. Build something for the channel. I want to get another truck that I can keep. So right now, um, to start this whole endeavor, I had my lifted truck that I built that actually DIY gang shouted me out with. Um, they actually got a picture of it on their wall. Um, I had that one, that was gonna be the truck that I was gonna build from ground up and keep. But then, it was around Christmas time right after. I knew layoffs were coming. And uh, even though it wasn't gonna be a long one, I just knew I was gonna get laid off. So I was like, screw it, I'm gonna sell my truck, I'm gonna buy a couple cars, I'm gonna fix them and I'm gonna sell them. And I wanna start making money. Well then, I started filming it, figured heck if I'm, you know, they're filming it and people are watching, maybe people will watch me. Um, like I said, if you don't like what you see, please tell me what you wanna see and I'll try to do it. Just basically wanna get these things sold, make some money so we can buy something cool. I'm still trying to work on this Lexus with the two Jay-Z swap. Um, I didn't expect some of the bills to come up that did, that I had to pay, so it kinda knocked me back. Um, but I feel like we're back. I know I gotta hold on to this car and that trailer for about two weeks until I get my titles, but this one here, I'm gonna get this sold as soon as possible. I have the title for it already. Um, try to buy something else or buy two more things. Get those flipped because the guy that's working with me, he told me that he wants me to have the 2JZ engine. He wants me to have the car because he knows um, I'll do right by it. He actually has turned people down that wanted to see it. And uh, geez, I can't believe he's doing it. I never would have asked him to do that. You know, he's gotta support his family and do what he's gotta do. Um, and he's just, he's just being totally cool. So yeah, if we can get that on the channel, um, We'll be doing cool stuff, man, real cool stuff. So please, just keep watching, stick with me. Let's see where this goes. I really appreciate you guys. Love y'all. Thank you, have a good night.